Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to discover what happens if you actually try to explode a black hole, at least in the universe sandbox. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be exploring different types of black holes in universe sandbox, but don't think of it as something that actually does happen in real life. This is more or less game stuff. So we're going to begin by going to our own solar system uh, right around here. And let's actually start by changing our beautiful sun into a black hole. How do we do it? Well, that's easy. Click on the sun, go in here and turn off the radius from composition, make sure the size is actually fixed, and then change its size to about four kilometers. At four kilometers, uh, if we keep the same density, no, sorry, if we keep the same mass, the density will change to the point where the sun becomes, okay, maybe it's not four kilometers, maybe it's a little bit less, becomes, no, one more time, oh, sorry, four kilometers in diameter, of course, two kilometers in radius, becomes a black hole. So it has to be just over two kilometers in, in radius, four kilometers across. As a black hole, sun will actually not affect our solar system at all. As a matter of fact, if I keep running this, the only thing you'll see that's different is of course the temperature. The temperature on our planet Earth will change dramatically, but nothing else will change. The sun is still the sun, it just not, doesn't emit as much light anymore. But what we're going to be doing is, of course, not this. We're going to explode our sun. We're going to explode this beautiful black hole and see what happens. Take your guess. What do you think will happen? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, explode. Okay. And there you go. This is what happens when you explode a black hole. Now, it's not as eventful as you might have imagined, but you'll notice that there's actually stuff flying away from the sun. These are the sun fragments. This is something you may have not noticed right away. So I'm going to zoom out from here. We're gonna do this one more time. And this time we're going to do this from a distance. And you'll see that something cool, something really cool happens. So let's do this again. F fix this, change this to two kilometers and explore it from a distance and watch this. Boom, look at that. You see these beautiful fragments flying away? This is essentially black hole fragments. Each of them is about three masses of, this, uh, of our planet Earth. So I could actually technically go in here and change it into an actual body, which will then become a planet. We can maybe even change it to sun planets. And there's our sun planet right there. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what it actually looks like. And it looks like a big chunk of energy. Now, I don't really know what, what this is and what it's for, but I guess this is how a game interprets the explosion from a black hole. This right here is the black hole explosive matter thing. I guess you could call it some kind of a unique exotic matter. There's quite a lot of them flying away from uh, from our formerly black hole sun. And you can kind of see them better if I, I guess, accelerate the game. There they are. Each of them moves at the speed that's about um, just under a half of speed of light. Now this is all cool and interesting, but it does get a little bit more intriguing if you explore a bigger black hole. So let's go into a new simulation. And by the way, this doesn't actually disappear. It kind of stays like that. Um, let's go into a new simulation and let's place a, a large black hole here. Let's place like a, a really, really big black hole, such as, for example, Sagittarius A star, a supermassive black hole in the center of our own galaxy. And let's explode this thing. Let's see what happens if you actually explode this thing. And the effect here is more dramatic. Look at this. All of this creates a huge, huge amount of fragments, each of them 43 masses of sun. 
each of these little fragments. Now I tried to actually select all of them once and convert each of them into an actual body and that crashed my game or at least made it unplayable. So I'm going to do this again but only with these guys right here. We're going to go in here and we're going to convert each of them to full bodies and take a guess what's going to happen. If you guess Supernova, you guess correctly. Uh, a lot of them actually will become stars, like this guy right here. And a lot of them will initiate Supernova. Now this is a pretty crazy experience here. We're actually, we've just created a bunch of star-like objects. Many of them, uh, something like 30 masses of sun. And many of them will actually initiate their own Supernova. Or at least try to initiate a Supernova. What is something that looks like Supernova? Now, whether this happens in real life or not, obviously we don't really know. But it does happen in, in Universe Sandbox, and it does create this incredible, incredible effect. Look at that. This is just insane. Oh, and by the way, the black hole actually does disappear at the end. So each of these fragments created a supernova, and then, if I remove the trails here, and also maybe the labels, and then created this incredible effect that you don't really see otherwise. So if I accelerate time here, you'll see that each of them kind of flies away into the distance and disappears. Now this is a pretty awesome way of, I guess, ending this video. And just to kind of show you where things are right now, there they are. All of the other fragments did disappear because most fragments disappear unless you turn them into full bodies. But if you were to do this on a very powerful computer, you could have actually done this. So if I go back here could have placed a black hole, and you do need a very powerful computer for this. Could have placed a black hole here, initiated its explosion, and then selected all of these things and turned them into full body structures. Now, I have done this once. I'm not going to do this again. I'm actually going to do this with maybe fewer of them. I'm just going to select the ones in the center. No, maybe even less than that. This, my computer probably can kind of handle and not really it almost crashed just now the the actual uh frame rate is, is five seven framers per second right now and you can see the music is bugging out as well so this is kind of what happens this is kind of what happens if you try to explode all of them pretty crazy Anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.